Hello and welcome back to part four. Okay, so uh, I've just set the magnets up. I've cut out the orange coloured pieces off the helmet. I've set the um, stencil up and I'm now going to paint in these orange bits uh, nice and slowly. I have a mix of Wicked Detail Yellow and Detailed Red, or it says on the bottle, Scarlet. So Detailed Yellow, Detailed Red, and obviously the 4030 Balancing Clay with 4012 Reducer. Uh, when I'm doing these things I have it at least maybe 75% reducer and additive so it's fairly thin paint and we're just going to try and put in now there's one two three four five six pieces when i'm doing this i like to try and keep the airbrush almost at 90 degree angle to the paint or to, sorry to the panel if i can That way I'm pushing the stencil down. And just like before, this is a fairly slow process of just building up the uh, saturation that I want to get to, the depth of colour. I'm using an old stencil here that I used when I was doing the background so if you can see there I've actually put a little blank piece of paper in to cover that strip that I'd already cut out of the last stencil and that just stops me accidentally spraying the orange over into the other stuff hopefully he says that's the plan anyway can see by the image just like the green it's actually darker on this side the orange is a darker orange than it is on the far side and then we've got an even lighter one at the top obviously the one underneath there and the one there are about the same value as the one on my left uh, plus obviously at some stage we will be putting the screen in there which lightens everything else up behind it I think I'm just going to put another little drop of the uh, Wicked Red inside this cup. I pick it up off the palette onto a brush and then put that inside there and just mix that in. For me if I'm only putting a tiny drop in that's the best way of doing it. I don't have to put a full drop out straight out of the bottle into there. Now just like any other time once I've mixed that in there is still a spot of it inside the nozzle so I just spray that bit out and then we're ready to go Okay, let's see how that's looking. See the piece of paper there? Mm. 
that's just about in, in the place we need it. So we can move on now and cut out another stencil and get on to the next bit. Okay, so I've just cut out the uh, next piece of the stencil. What I'm going to put in now are all these dark pieces. I won't say black because some of them aren't actually black. There are some really dark pieces, there are some black pieces and there are some dark pieces that fade into blue uh, and various bits in between. So always look at your reference even when you're painting in what you think is black. And just to show you what I've done up to now um, while the camera was off, I've just got this lid. It's the, a red lid so you can see the difference. Those white bits are where we're going to paint. And if I put it on that background, you can see there now all the little bits that I've um, cut out ready for using the dark stuff, the grey or the black. I'll just see if I can get you in focus. Okay, so that's the bits that we're going to do next, the dark bits. Okay, what I also want to show you, uh, just to kind of stress that when you're cutting these pieces out of your reference photograph, take your time. It's just took me maybe 45 minutes to cut those pieces out to make sure that they're exactly the dark bits. I've left a few bits in that aren't going to be as dark. But the other thing is, when you're spraying this, I've used the stencil that I started putting the green in initially. So just to make sure that when you're going along and you think everything's coming out great, put a little bit of uh, masking tape of some kind over the holes that you've already sprayed over. That way you're not going to get any overspray off your black or your dark onto those bits. So when I put that on there now, I know that the only place it's going to go is where I've cut out and there's not going to be any overspray. So with the stencil in place now, uh, I'm always looking at the reference and just making sure that what I'm doing is either faded or grey or really dark and we just work it from there. So I'm going to start up at the top and work my way down piece by piece.
With all the black done and that thing removed, that's what we're left with. Okay, I'll just leave that there for now. Just decided, well I've still got a little bit of black left in here, there's not much, I'm just going to put in these two treads on this tyre. Doesn't mean much at this stage, but it saves me having had painted the tyre to then put the treads in, so I'm going to put those in there first. So I hope you're enjoying this as it's going along. All right, thanks for watching. Don't forget, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you like what I'm doing. And if you hit the bell icon at the side of the subscribe button, you'll be informed whenever a next video comes up. Okay, speak to you soon. Bye.